Roblox City, Roblox is number one hustling, <laughs> bustling, <laughs> and wondrous city. I may even consider it <laughs> the most safest <laughs> place <laughs> on Roblox. Survive the Inner Roblox to me is an underrated gym. Like it sits at 102 players, which is which is all right for a Roblox game. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that we're about to hit 200 subscribers. So yeah, that's that's crazy. Like I've been gone for like a month and we're about to hit 200 subscribers. Okay, before I start talking about this game, I highly advise you to go click off this video and go play Survive the Inner Roblox because it's better unspoiled. It's also way much better to play with friends, family, or whoever you know. So yeah, go play this game. Nonetheless, here's why I love Survive the Inner Roblox. Survive the Inner Roblox was created by Caden Zombie 8 on Halloween of 2019. It's a remastered remake of Amazeman's Survive the Inner Classic Roblox. Yup, that's all the information you'll need for this game. Hmm. Wait. Let me check my timer. Not timer alarm. Oh, it's time to talk about Survive the Inner Roblox and why I love it. Okay, seriously, let's talk about why I love this game so much. Let's begin with the style of Survive the Inner Roblox. Okay, from an outside view, it looks like any average Roblox game. But if you start to play, you can notice that it's trying to go for the classic Roblox style, which I absolutely love. And if you're like me who's acquainted with the images on the billboards, then you can know that just go, trying to go for the style of classic Roblox. And also just the whole feel of the game, it feels like classic Roblox. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot the music and how it's of the classic Roblox. With a style that's great for running on my treadmill internet powered laptop, it'll need to be accompanied by something else, which will be... Roblox City, the most explorable map on Roblox. I'm not kidding, each building feels unique. And some have elevators, which I went crazy over whenever I first seen them. Then there was that one time I got stuck underneath the elevator. With the map being large, that means there's tons of spots to explore. Heck, even the game tells you to go look at everything before the inevitable doom. Oh, I kind of forgot the subway. Yeah, don't forget to check that place out because it was recently added. Yeah, that right there is top tier map design. It kinda needs a game of its own, but there's something that it needs. The environment of this game gives it some type of life. So, first, in the background you can hear like city life, such, such as like sirens and cars and other city sounds. Then the most important one has to be the time cycle. Every time there's a new round, there'll be a different time cycle. One round may be morning, one round may be night, one round may be like noon, who knows. But during all that, it, it'll start changing depending on what time you started off. And they also pointed out on Bloxy Beach too, which is the radio of the game. Okay, style, map, environment, how do you get around? The vehicles are great because they're not just good for like traveling around the map and exploring. But they're super great for escaping disaster zones, such as the sinkhole. My personal favorite vehicle has to either be the truck or the bus. Actually, I don't like the truck. Every time I get inside the truck, I die from lightning. But the bus is so great because one, it has slow closing and sliding doors, and two, you can you can ride with multiple people because it's a it's a bus. Okay, I believe we have most things. Oh, so, oh, the survive part the disasters in this game are how can i put it very easy to survive because most if all of them involve you having to stay inside with that set to the side the disasters on here are kind of neat because they have they all have something to bring if that be every like almost every disaster having some type of disaster happening during or after it the tornado having a different ef every round the sinkhole being dreadful. Run, baby, run! Run! 
are the mega flood being absolutely impossible to survive. With all those disasters, the player needs some way of payment. This game's reward system is like one of the best reward systems I've ever came across inside a Roblox game. I'll start with the weakest of the two, which will be survivals, which you can achieve by surviving the round. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that this game has long rounds. Okay, next are risk points, the one that deserves the title of being one of the best reward systems. You're basically rewarded for being inside like dangerous areas, hence the name. They're so good because like, it encourages players to go near disasters, and the ones who decide to be risky gets all the rewards. There's also no game passes for risk points. Alright, I think we have almost everything. Now it's about time to look at some little things the developer added. With everything I talked about, this game was bound to have little details. The first one will be all the easter eggs slash secrets that are hidden throughout the map. I believe I've only found like only one throughout my whole entire experience on that game. Next will be the train, not the subway, the train above that comes from its tunnel. I, I kinda I kinda use it to kill someone. Last will be Bloxy Beats, aka the radio. Bloxy Beats informs you about all the disasters happening, which is hosted by the radio man, who you can actually see if he goes to the radio tower and goes to his room that says air on top, and if you can like glitch in with your camera, you can see him inside there. And I think I'm I think I'm finished. Wait, hold on. I didn't went over the most important thing. The experience to me is the most important. This game never fails to give me an experience due to everything all above and also the rounds being like fairly long. Like when I was recording gameplay footage for this video, like I had so many fun moments and I want to share a couple at the end. At the end of the day, whenever I play Survive the End of Roblox, I know I'm going to have an experience, either bad or good, but I know that I'm going to remember it. The ending of Survive the Inner Roblox is phenomenal. There is two escapes, the plane escape and the helicopter escape. What I love is that there is li a limited amount of seats, which means that the players don't have to worry about disasters anymore. They have to worry about others taking their seat, their hope, their only chance to survive. When you leave on either option, you get a good look at the city that's now destroyed. You look down and see all the players that are now left behind. After the tsunami hits, the city floods. Those left will certainly die. If you remember the radio man, the guy who informed everyone about the disasters, he's left behind too. Before he meets his fate inside his radio tower, he says his last line, I guess that this truly is the end of Roblox. Uh oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no audio for this, but let, let's just begin. So, I was like sitting outside with the bank, and then I was about to go inside the bank, just a refuge inside because the acid rain was about to happen. And then I saw something pink. And I was like, why, why is there something pink? And then, and then I looked away, and, like for a few seconds, it was gone. So, after a little bit, I went inside the bank, and then I saw him. Sweetie Sweat staring at the wall. So I sat in that bank, sitting next to Sweetie Sweat in this, on the second floor. And then I had to leave and go to the HQ so I can escape. And when I looked down, I saw Sweetie Sweat looking down inside the lava, just sitting there. And when the helicopter arrived, Sweetie Sweat awakened and he started running, dashing up the dashing up the stairs of the HQ. And but he he never made it to the helicopter and left him. Thank you for watching. I really, really hope you go play Survive the End of Roblox if you haven't already. Link for game will be below. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.